My editing tutorials and other editing tutorials are like night and day. Hey Power Director peeps, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director love. You know, the Power Director love you need from Power Director University. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to change day to night. Let me know in the comment section below if you think that this effect will be useful in any of your upcoming videos. Let's jump off into the software and make it happen. Here we are in Power Director 16. Before we get started, I want to remind you to subscribe to Power Director University to see great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. Let's turn day into night. To get this effect done, I'm going to use a plugin called New Blue Effects Video Essentials 4. This plugin has a bunch of cool effects, so if you're interested in getting more info or interested in picking it up, there's a link to this plugin in the video description. It is an affiliate link, so if you use it, I will receive a small kickback to help me continue to make videos like this for you, and you pay the same price as if you bought the plugin without using my link. So give back to the channel and use the link. As you can see, I have a video clip on my timeline. If I scrub the timeline, you can see the mom and the dad and all the little lovely kitties come out of the house and they're going for a nice little stroll on their family day out. But I want to turn this into a family night out. So I'm going to go to the effects room and I'm going to go to New Blue Essentials Effect 4. And here I'm going to look for day for night. Now I'll hold down my left mouse and I'll drag this down and you can drag it down onto the clip or you could drag it into the effects track, but I'm going to drag it down onto the clip. In the preview window, you can see that the effect has been applied to the clip automatically. And if I scrub the timeline, you'll see, it's a pretty good look. Doesn't look like it's daytime anymore. It looks like it's kind of like dusk or an early evening look. And I like it. I like it a lot. Now, if I want to change anything, I want to do some additional tweaks, I can go ahead and left click on the clip to make sure it's activated. And then you should have the option here that says effect. You want to click on effect. And here you can make some additional tweaks and adjustments. On the left hand side here, I can uncheck this box and I can basically see the before and after of the application of the day for night effect. Now, if I have multiple effects here or if I decided that I didn't want to have this effect on the clip anymore, I could click on this minus sign and it will remove the highlighted effect. I'm not going to do that right now because I got some things to show you. Now, down further, you have some presets. Here you see that right now it's on the default preset. And you can choose between eight additional presets here. It'll give you some different looks. So now I'm going to give you an explanation of each one of these different parameters that you can change. Now, they're not in any particular order, but I'm going to break it down by groups that make sense in my crazy little mind. All right. So the first group I'm going to talk about is the color group. The color group defines special coloring for the main area of the image. So first down here, you got your tint picker. If you click on this, you can choose from a bunch of different colors and change the tint to the different colors on here. You can use these color boxes. You can use the RGB values.
And then up here you have tint one. Now tint one determines how much to tint the image with the selected color. So if you drag the control to the left, you get uh, less intensity. And if you drag it to the right, you get more intensity. So right underneath that, you have desaturate. And desaturate shifts the image from color to black and white. So the lower the value, the closer it's going to get to color. And then the higher the value, the closer it's going to get to being black and white. The next group I'm going to talk about is the light group. The light group sets the contrast and brightness for the image. So here you have the contrast. And the contrast, of course, controls contrast. Anything above 100, um, you're going to get darker darks and lighter lights like this. And if you go below 100, then you're going to have a duller looking image. And then the next value is brightness. And brightness is, as brightness does, it adjusts the brightness. So the higher you go, brighter it's going to get. The lower you go, the darker it's going to get. So the final group is the selective color group. The selective color group defines how the selected color will be darkened. So down here, you got your color picker. You click on that. And you can select your color just like you can with the tint selector. Then you have darkness. And darkness sets the darkness level of the selected color. So you increase the value to make the color appear darker. Then you have sensitivity and sensitivity sets the sensitivity of the chosen color. So adjust this and you want to use it to find the best threshold to separate out the color. And then we have soften. So this softens the color so that the image appears less processed. And then last but not least, we have reverse. So if you check this, then you're going to inverse the selected colors. And if you wish to, you can add keyframes and using keyframes, you can make it change from day to night or, uh, just create some dope effects that you want to add to your clip. And whenever you're done, you just go ahead and click on this little X here, close it out. And then you have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful image that was once day. It looks like night. And that's it. Power director peeps day for night in power director 16 using new blue effects, video essentials Four. All right, Power Director peeps, I want to thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. And now I want to send a shout out to one of my subscribers, Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. Ray Max Kitchen and Grill makes cooking videos, and they're pretty darn delicious looking food, if I may say so myself. Now, if you like learning new recipes, having some fun, and trying out some delicious dishes, make sure that you head over to his channel. Check out a couple of his videos, and if you're feeling what he's dealing, make sure that you subscribe. If you guys want to get a shout out like Ray Max Kitchen and Grill did, head over to the video description and fill out our shout out request form. If you got a tutorial you'd like us to make, head over to the video description and fill out our tutorial request form. Now that I'm done with that, I got a few things I need you to do for me. The thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction, click on it. It lets people know that the content in this video is good and that they should watch it too. If you got any comments, questions, you just want to talk, chop it up with your boy, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash that subscribe button. And after you do, click on the bell. When you do that, you receive notifications every time I upload content to YouTube, and that way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.